Hi, this is Eternal King bringing you another LOR video today. So, continuing on with our tutorial series, uh, we're going to be playing some games with Meta Elusive Spam. So let's see how it goes, let's just jump right into it. So this entire deck is basically a ping check. Um, you're not going to want to be taking blocks on the opponent, you're just going to want to be pushing damage and hoping that they don't have the proper pings or answers to deal with um, anything that you play. We're going to keep Erasmus off the top here. It's a decent card. That's not great. I'd like to see a one drop here. Okay, that's really bad. Sometimes you hit your 9-1 drop, sometimes you don't. Um, either way, we just Erasmus here. Okay, pass. Okay. Also not a perfect place to be uh, landing your pings. Uh, sorry, landing the chimes. Is I, I don't want the chime on the on the two drops. So no point playing another Erasmus here. We're going to play uh, Teemo into the uh, Lunari Shade Stalker. And then we follow that up with Augmented Clockling. Um, okay. Opponent playing a slower deck here. Um, if he doesn't have kind of the right removal answers, we should be in a good spot. Um, again, we had a very slow turn. Uh, trying to think how much burn I want versus having the, the Pale Cascade. Um, I think I'll take one mana Pale Cascade. Just get us through our deck faster, potentially save something and allow it to live. Uh, I think I'm going to do it like this. And then if I see a hate spike, then... Okay, Death's Grasp. Um, nothing we can do about that. So I was hoping the hate spike and then we could buff with the Pale Cascade, but we can't. So We just take it. That'll help. Sure. How much is that? Uh, not enough to care about. Hitting elusive here would be nice. Okay, battle bonds onto nothing. I don't even know if that works, truth be told, but okay, so we're just gonna pre-commit. <clears throat> as much damage here as possible. Like this, like that. Then um that's gonna be three. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Um so if there's a Death's Grasp here, then I Pale Cascade. Okay, no, no Death's Grasp. Strictly speaking, if the opponent doesn't have any sort of healing, he's dead here. Okay, no healing. This is good. Um, sure. That doesn't matter. So the opponent's trying to heal here now. Um, we're just going to present lethal and then see if he's got anything else. Opponent doesn't have anything, so that's GG. <clears throat> I 
We'll play one more game with the elusive spam. Um, that wasn't even the most powerful hand off the top. It was actually a very slow hand, but simply going under your opponent um, is going to feel pretty good sometimes. Yeah, all you have to do is go under the opponent and, um, you know, they can try to turbo out their win con. In this case, they're just going for, you know, the big champ. Um, it's not going to really matter. But yeah, feeling good so far. Let's see how this one goes. Um, if they're playing pings, then that's, you know, the main problem. So we don't want to see pings. Um, burn, we only run one get excited, so I always just keep the get excited. The rest of the stuff we can toss, sure. We got the one mana Zoe here. Um, in terms of one drop priority, we, you'd rather see the mana reduction on the battle bonds most of the time, but again, you get what you get. You can't really change it. Uh, sure. Um, Chances are the... Okay, never mind. I was assuming there that um, he would have killed the Zoe, but it didn't happen. So chances are he has to commit some kind of removal here. We're going to play this and keep Blessing of Targon open um, for when he attempts some kind of removal. Yeah, so we just pass here. And then see what he does. We also have Get Excited as potential removal, which is pretty strong. Okay. Uh, in that instance, I am going to take it, I think. Oh no, he's bigger now. Um, that's fine. We don't care about that. Sure. Okay. Sure. Very well. Darkness hides in my path. Obviously, atrocity lethal is kind of a concern. Okay. Um, I'm still just going to push the damage. Again, in this deck, you just have to take what you take. And he has to take that block there. Fear not death. Oh, okay. He doesn't want to take that block. Interesting play.
So we'll just take this here. Silly mix of roses. The only thing that really matters here is atrocity lethal. Uh, take more burn. Um, you just want the burn here. Pale Cascade representing one damage is nice too, though. Um, okay, I'll take the Pale Cascade here for one mana. Also potentially protects this into like a hate spike or something. Oh no, okay. That's fine. An interplay of shadows <clears throat> they, will. they know little lamb okay so here is when you commit the battle bonds pretty straightforward play try to spread out the damage a bit if you can again if they have atrocity then it's just game over anyway okay so that's two quick games with the elusive spam um, again, typically you only want to take a single block, um, and we'll take some time to analyze because those games were very fast. Um, but uh, typically you want to take some time to block um, lethal, and that's kind of it. Um, if the, we're not really concerned about board value. Um, also, playing around opponents, um, uh, you know, removal is exceptionally important. Um, committing. Uh, battle bonds on the swing is exceptionally important, but spreading out the stats in such a way that the opponent isn't getting free value is very important. But otherwise, the deck plays in a very straightforward line. Um, uh, again, I would say that this is this list is just as good as something like Zig's Poppy or Zero Relia, um, despite its low play rate. And in fact, you know, if you prefer, you can run um, a little extra burn. It's meta dependent. And you can run it like this with uh, one less lodestone, or you could drop like one pale cascade and still have the three lodestones. And dropping pale cascades actually a pretty solid call, in my opinion. I feel like uh, pale cascade usually feels a little awkward uh, versus everything else um, in many cases. But uh, very very strong deck. Um, not too much else to say about it. I think it's fairly new player friendly. Um, uh, you know kind of across the board you know nothing about it is that complicated so give it a shot uh let me know your success rate with it how you feel about it but uh this is you know meta elusive spam and i hope this tutorial was helpful this is eternal king signing out